Shalom, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach Chodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, it's going to be another video and um, just an article that appeared in my phone. I don't even know how it popped up because I wasn't looking for it. And next thing you know, it was there. So all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And um, I just want to read it. And this is, of course, update on the mark of the beast. All right, which is the RFID microchip, radio frequency identification chip. And um, if you can't see that the chip is the mark of the beast, then you're blinded. The Most High is not dealing with you. And that means that you're going to take this chip, okay, underneath your skin. All right. And you're going to be destroyed by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. By the ways of thermonuclear uh, fire. So as the title reads, Sweden begins microchip in residence. Access to ID, wallet and keys is now underneath the skin. All right. Now, let's see what it does. Right. It says the future is here. Y'all, at least if y'all are resident of Sweden in the futuristic practice, that sounds like something out of the high tech science fiction movie. Several Swedens are now microchipping themselves. You'll see things like this in the movies and the TV shows. But the thought of it actually becoming a reality may have been the last thing on your mind. Although if you live in Sweden, microchipping humans is not far-fetched at all. It says, as reported by at Futurism, around 3,000 Sweden residents have already microchipped themselves to allow them convenient access to everyday items that many often struggle to up, uh, struggle to up with, including their ID, wallet, and keys. It says the microchip basically acts as a digital keychain of sorts and it's utilized NFC uh, near field communication chip to send information wirelessly from a passive chip to a reader. But only when they are about four centimeters apart from each other, the microchip can access people's that microchip can access can assist people. Excuse me. The microchip can assist people in doing common daily uh, tasks like sign into the gym, unlock doors to cars and offices, and make credit card payments. What even more What's even more interesting is that as the as the technology progresses, the implant will be able to do even more. And we already know because the brothers in the knowing, you know, we research and come across these articles and videos that even the military is using RFID microchips, okay, and they're in, implanting them inside their soldiers' skin and also in their brains. There was an article that came out about um, some of China's soldiers that they was able, with chips inside their heads, they were able to uh, use drones at their thoughts, okay? They can drive drones wherever they please by the thought, that's the power within this mark of the beast. You know, like I always say, it's game changing. All right. So as we read, it says is is that as the technology progresses, the implant will be able to do even more. So for the regular citizens, you're going to have a regular chip. But for an elite soldier or a rich man, he's going to have a even higher, uh, I'm going to say an elite type chip. All right. Where he can do more. All right. But anyway, it says the microchip technology isn't new as it very as it's very similar to what veterinarians use to implant in dogs and cats so that their owners can find them in the event that they are lost or run away. Additionally, some Swedish biohackers have been having implant parties in an underground activity since at least 2015. And I want to say probably even before 2015. All right. It says, but now microchipping's microchipping has found its way to regular people and become mainstream. So the market of beasts is mainstream. All right. That's why, you know, we say if you can't see it, all right, you can't see that the RFID chip is the market of beasts, then the Lord is not dealing with you, man. It says it is important. It is important to note. 
that as with any form of advanced technology, there are There are definite concerns. The NFC microchips gives corporations a disturbing amount of control over you and your daily activities, including tracking where you are, how long of a lunch break you take, and how often you use the bathroom. The microchips are also able to hack, which is a whole other set of concerns. You see? <laughs> You see why we tell you that this microchip is game changer? Because why? It is it, is more than what they advertise. They're not telling you the harms, you know, the the harms of this RFID microchip. But it's they showing you the neat features and enticing you to willingly take it. Eventually, you're going to be forced to take this chip. And especially here in Babylon the Great, better yet known as what? America. All right? So you know, I wanted to read this article and uh, keep it coming, man. Keep the scriptures and keep the lessons going because we are in the end times. We are at the end of the world, which represents the end of Esau. You know, if you don't know about this chip, you better research. You better get into it because when they make this mandatory and they force this throughout some type of uh, exciting emergency, let me say that again before they make this mandatory out of some exciting emergency. You know, you better know, you better have the knowledge and wisdom of the Lord. Which the scriptures say, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, man. And, and really, in all reality, only the elect is going to make it. The rest, two-thirds of you Israelites, you're going to be, you're going to get put to death, man. You know, which you rightfully deserve, the reward you achieve. You know, you work, we always, you know, while we live in this earth, we work toward a prize. And some of us, well, a remnant of us have worked toward what? To see salvation, the kingdom. And then the rest, the multitude have worked uh, toward death and destruction, you know, because of their wickedness. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.